Now let's solve this problem in whatever we have uh, found the algorithm in our previous video. We will implement the same in Java. So right now I am in my IntelliJ in presentation mode. So let's start uh, implementing it here. Uh, let me take this example from here, the method name. And I will mark it as final. Okay. Now, first of all, we need to create this DP array uh, of length of the of the lead of the input given plus one. Here, the length is given as eight, so eight plus one nine, because we have to uh, have a an extra space for the terminal character. So, and it would be a Boolean array. S, which is our input length, input string, plus one. And we know that by, by default, the, the Boolean array in Java is always put as false. But in our terminal condition, we have seen that it should be true here. So we'll mark explicitly mark the last index as true. Start with length is our last as true. Okay. Now we start with our last character and then we have to move till, till, till the first and using the same algorithm that we have discovered. That for each of the index, if any of the word is matching, we will use this formula to calculate the DP of that particular index. So I will start with last character, which is our last index, sorry, um, minus one. Minus one is this one. And then we move till the first or the zeroth index, which is the final solution. And minus minus. Right. And now we will, for each of the substring that we have calculated, we will try to see, iterate through all the words given in the dictionary and try to compare with the, using this formula. So here, I will just use a for each, for each of the words in the dictionary. So, final string word, it uh, should be word take the dictionary of words. And now we see that if, only if the game okay, i plus word dot length. This is the overflow condition that we always check that whether if we do this i plus the word of length, maybe the, the word given a dictionary is like very big and it overshoots our our original string, then we have to check this condition that it should always be less than that because there is no control that how many uh, words are given in the, in the dictionary and what are their lengths. If their lengths are greater than the s, the input s, then uh, we have to check that condition. It should be always less than that. So this is our first, just for checking the overflow of the word length. And the most important part is whether we have to check whether it starts with this. For example, C-O-D-E starts with C-O-D-E. And similarly, if there was T-C-O-D-E, as we discussed before, and if there's a word given as T-C-O, then T-C-O, T-C-O-D-E starts with T-C-O. So we have to check with the starts with condition. In Java, it's already given in the API that s dot starts with, and here we have to use this one with the prefix, the with the actual word, and the t offset would be the i, because from there we have to uh, check uh, about about the substring that we have created. So it should be starts with. Word, the word we have just uh, iterating through and the index from here, starting index from here. 
so it would be from starting from here right c o d just for example okay so then in that case dp of i would be dp of i plus word dot length this formula dp of i plus word dot length in that if it starts with this and once we have found this then we don't need to iterate i mean if this condition is true right i mean if dpi is we already found as true then we need to break out of this inner loop because we don't if one word is found already uh, matching so in that case we have to just break out of this inner loop we don't need to iterate to the remaining words given in the dictionary so here we'll check this condition that if this has already been found and it's true then it will be dp of i if dpx is true then break of this inner loop so that's it about it. so we i think we are done with this whole algorithm that we have uh, found in our previous video on this approach and now we have reached to this and we have to read this as a final output final this then we have to return dp of zero as our final answer so again let's go through it we create a dp array same as here of length plus one and then we mark the last character as true here and then we iterate from the last character to the to the to the whole um, to, to the base to the beginning of uh, the, the string and for each of the substring that has been created we uh, we iterate through all the words given in the in the dictionary and try to see that whether it starts with that word or not if it starts with that word then we when then we calculate it using this formula that we derived in our previous video i plus word dot length and with, and if that is found here then it will break out of this inner loop and then it finally the result would be the output given in the zeroth index so let's run this and see whether the answer is correct our algorithm method is correct so again i will take the example from here lead code and there is or maybe i just use list of lead code right let me run this So it's coming out as true. Let me try for the other examples given. Let me try this. And Apple. And for the third example as well, which is giving me false. So the answer is correct as as expected and given the lead code. Now let's copy this and check for all the test cases in lead code to confirm our algorithm is correct. Yeah, so it's correct. It's accepted. Now let's finally quickly do. Uh, the time and space complexity so we see that we are creating a, a single one dimensional array of length given of the length string input string so it would be space complexity would be only o of n and for the time complexity we are using two for loops and uh, so it would be the length of the string and the, and the word 
the, the number of words which are given in this list. So it would be s dot length multiplied by dictionary length size. Or in other words, you can always say that it's also say that it's o o and so guys, this is all about uh, the word day problem. In our next, in our next video, we will solve the ninth problem of our tutorial series, which is the coin change, which is given in lead code. This is again a very popular problem, which we'll solve in our next video. So see you all in the next video.